Today we're going to show you how to delegate service permissions. Now keep in mind that this comes with an extreme warning of this could break your system. With that in mind, let's go ahead. So what I've got here is two terminals open. One I'm going to open as the admin and the other one I'm going to use for user creation and impersonation of the user. So first of all we need something to test for services so I'm going to go ahead and install Apache so that I can run something that I can stop and start and easily show you that it's running or not running. Again because Apache is one of the best examples aka I can open it in a browser and demonstrate whether the service is running or not this makes it perfect for demo purposes although obviously this could work with any service this just happens to be the example that I'm using. So here we can see that Apache is installed. Now again this comes with an extreme warning what you're about to do could break your system. So first of all we're going to go into the sudoverse file and make modifications. This is the part that could break your system. Typos here can cause extreme issues. Now before we get stuck in with editing the sudo file we're going to have a quick creation of a test user. Uh, my test user is going to be called Ben. I'm not going to give him any new permissions or group memberships. In fact I want to make sure that I don't to demonstrate that these permissions do work. So what I'm going to do is create Ben and once Ben is created, I'm going to log in as Ben. I'm going to confirm that Ben is the user that I'm logged in as. And then finally, I'm going to try and stop the Apache service using Ben. So we're going to quickly sudo into Ben. I'm going to confirm who I am. You can see Ben. And next, I'm going to try to sudo the service restart command in this case I need to use the bin folder now this is one thing that we do need to cover within the commands when we're giving it we're giving it the exact command that includes all the little parts of the directory that you need to go to so we're just gonna put the Apache 2 service I'm going to try and stop it. It's going to ask me for the password because I sudo as Ben. And you can see Ben does not have permission to do this. Now, obviously, we need to grant those permissions if we're going to go forward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly paste in the permissions necessary for Ben to do this. And this is the important factor. I am going to save the file, but I'm not going to close it. The reason I'm not going to close it is in the event that I make a typo, I will get an error. And if I do get the error, I'm able to rectify it whilst the terminal is still open. And now you can see, as Ben, we're able to stop the service. So that, that worked as expected, so let's try to start the service, right? Now, what you're going to see here is an error message, simply because you don't have permissions to start the service. And the way Linux works is that permissions are given individually. So you might be able to stop, you might be able to start, and even restart is a different command. So we're going to go ahead and give bin all the permissions necessary to stop, start, and restart Apache so that we can demonstrate that he has the power that he needs in order to perform this subset of tasks. And as you can see, we restarted Apache and it's happily running. So we're just going to demonstrate now the restart command just to prove that this all works and again quick refresh and ta-da now this doesn't have to be Apache it could be any Linux based service equally it could also be any user account or it can be a group so the same principle applies just be extremely careful with it now that's it for this video uh, if you like it give it a thumbs up if you don't give it a thumbs down and subscribe for more content